it is quite exciting to know that the seventh edition of the Halifax Black Film Festival is back in person and online, marking African Heritage Month. It's running February 24th to the 28th. And this has been a tremendous gift to a community and an incredible opportunity for young black filmmakers, filmmakers of all ages, and of course, a chance for all of us to learn together. And, and I love how uh, the, well, the passion that goes into this is a real reflection of the person who came up with it. And uh, I've been able to uh, speak many times over the years with Fabio Colas, and she joins us here today. She's an actor. She's a producer. Uh, she's a publicist. She's a creator of this event. And uh, Fabian, it's so lovely to see you again. I hope you're well. Oh, thank you so much for having me. I mean, uh, Sheldon, you always introduce me as if I was uh, the next queen of England. Thank you so much. I, I, I'm flattered. I, that's amazing. And thank you for having me on the show again. I'm uh, many things. I wear many hats, except the publicist. But uh, okay. yeah, I, I wear many hats, that's for sure. Uh, you're certainly promoting the festival, and that's uh, why we're here uh, today to to speak to this. Tell me, when this began as an idea, did you ever think seven years later you'd be spreading out into other communities, other cities, for other festivals? Well, you know, Halifax has always been at the top of our mind and uh, um, priorities, quite frankly, because that's where we have um, the you know, oldest black population in the country, you know, it's a historical community. It's, uh, it's different than anywhere else, you know? So uh, Halifax has always been special and uh, uh, the community has been asking us, had been asking us because we started in Montreal for people that uh, are not familiar with uh, the Black Film Festival's history created by the Fabian Colas Foundation. We started out in Montreal 18 years ago. And then after that, we went to Toronto um, 11 years back. And seven years ago, we launched in Halifax after constant reminders and requests that how come you went to, we understand that you, you started in Montreal because you're from Montreal, that's totally fine. But how come you started in Toronto before coming to Halifax? So that was the recurring uh, request and uh, it was about time and we're very happy. And we never anticipated that um, today um, we would have been also um, in Ottawa, Calgary, and Vancouver, um, who uh, they started like uh, two years back, two, three years back, two years back. So um, it's a blessing. And it's all thanks to the support of the audience and the trust of the artist. Because with, without the artist, there's no festival anywhere. Um, and without the audience, there's no artist. So uh, that's kind of um, why it is a blessing to be here. The series being black in Canada and, of course, being black in Halifax, I, I, I must say that the work is so inspirational. It's so enlightening and it's such a, a great opportunity for people to learn about this shared history. Uh, wh what can you tell us about how that fits in with the program this year? Oh, by the way, I have to say being black in Halifax um, it's a first of all. Let, 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 let allow me to put that in context. It is a program called Being Black in Canada, and including being black in Halifax and of uh, each of the other cities I mentioned um, uh, earlier. And what we do is an incubator um, where we teach, we train um, the up and coming filmmakers, black filmmakers, um, to create in the creation of their. Um, first documentary films, short films. And then when they finish, I mean, not us personally, we hire a mentor as top in the business to accompany them and to teach them and to train them um, in, in while they're doing their first film. And after that, these documentaries, they went, they go on to all the Black Film Festivals and beyond the Black Film Festivals to be screened, to, to and then they get to do Q&As and meet the audiences and everything else. And they're going to have their Atlantic Maritimes premiere um, at the Halifax Black Film Festival. They're having the world premiere in Toronto at the Toronto Black Film Festival a week before. But let's welcome them like kings and queens and princesses. I don't know, princesses and uh, prince, um, because they're going to have um, their night where they're going to introduce their own films. They're going to meet the audience and then they will answer all the questions. And then these films are also available online for people who want to buy a ticket online to see them, um, to encourage them. Go to HalifaxBlackFilm.com. So um, this is quite exciting because... 
we want to know what the world looks like today, like what Canada looks like today, what Halifax looks like today from the 30 year old and younger. That's what they're giving us through all kinds of great films. It's amazing. And last year, um, the cohort for, from 2021, they won a Canadian Screen Award for Best Direction in a Documentary Series. Can you believe that? Uh, that was absolutely. In Halifax. So that means these um, young filmmakers doing their first films, they might be the next Spike Lee. We don't know that. So we need to come and encourage them greatly. Talk me through the program this year, where it is in person and online. I know that pandemic has caused a lot of events to change. How is this um, a win-win in some ways then? Oh, this is fantastic to be finally able, Sheldon, to meet people. You know, cinema were... Um, was created to be consumed in a dark room and with a giant screen. And we haven't been able to do that for two years. And then now, uh, thank goodness, we're going to be there in person and uh, meeting um, the, 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 the festival lovers, the film lovers, and uh, they will have an access to the artists. They will be able to, you know, to finally meet as well. So we're very happy. This is what's different this year um, at the festival. Um, it's that in-person component coming back, but we decided to keep um, the online component as well because we discovered during the pandemic, Sheldon, that a lot of people that who live um, outside of Halifax, people that live very far um, in Nova Scotia and elsewhere in the Maritimes and in Canada and even internationally um, are interested into supporting and seeing these films. And uh, so we let that open for more people to get access um, to the festival, which is fantastic because that gives the artists a chance to expand their art beyond frontiers, you know, beyond borders. So um, we do have uh, an online component as well. So what to expect? Great films, amazing, an amazing lineup, um, online in person. And we're gonna have about 70 films from various countries. And we're opening with a great film called Asia, um, talking about immigration. Um, uh, she's a, a girl from Nigeria and then going to Ireland to seek asylum. And then she will be confronted um, um, with um, all the bu bureaucracy and, and all the problems that you know, like uh, asylum seekers usually have um, when they're coming from um, the South. And uh, it's, it's a beautiful, um, touching film uh, from, um, you know, from like uh, it's coming from a good place and we believe that those are the conversation we need to have. It's very uplifting. And, and it does uh, open the door to these conversations. And I see that there are panel discussions, an opportunity for people to connect and debate, discuss. How how, how did you come to this, uh, this, this um, uh, part of the event to have this, this forum? Oh, it, it, uh, I forgot to mention something about the 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 the, uh, the opening night Asia um, film. Um, it's also starring uh, Letitia Wright. Uh, she is uh, one of the stars of Black Panther. So I know she has a, a lot of fans in Halifax and uh, all over the world. So it's uh, it's so cool to 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 have this film opening the Halifax Black Film Festival as well. So the, uh, we we want the Halifax Black Film Festival, Sheldon, to remain a place where you can come and see great Black films and authentic stories that you don't get exposed to every day, That films that will not necessarily go on cinema, in theaters, or elsewhere. So it's a unique chance to get access to them during the festival, um, whether online or in person. But we also want this festival to be a great forum, as you mentioned, where we can discuss um, all the challenges um, the industry is facing, all the challenges and opportunities as well. Like, it's not just about the challenges. We need to acknowledge them and work towards solutions. But we also need to say, hey, there are some more opportunities here on the table. How can we seize them more? Because, um, for example, we have problems with funding a lot in the Black communities in, um, in our industry they don't get funding so why is that is it because they don't know how to access them is it because they don't know um where to go so we talk about these things as well because it's important um to to foster access um for funding and then to know how to get things better so uh, that's what though these forums are important and they are all about 
I love how you reminded us that the theater, the cinema is this collective human experience where you, you're all laughing at the same time or crying at the same moments. And as an actor, you, you know what it's like to go through where you have an idea and you want to present it. It must be quite exciting for the filmmakers to have that experience again a live in person um, experience to share those types of works it, it must be quite lovely oh yeah and then there's nothing that can replace that human connection that you can have um, with one person after like a film and then uh, an audience member like a festival goer would come to the artist and say hey you know what i like about your film it's that 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 i mean this is why artists make their work this is why it's, it's, it's that gratification of meeting somebody that this film will be touching, you know, and the being black in Canada series actually this year is pretty special, Sheldon, because not only will we have the filmmakers from Halifax, um, but they will be welcoming um, filmmakers from Toronto, from Montreal, from Vancouver, from Ottawa, from, from uh, Calgary coming to Halifax to showcase being black in Canada, like in the other cities as well. So all of them will be together so they can talk uh, to the audience. So it, it, it's just a, a great, cool experience. And then we hope um, we're, we, we really hope the pandemic is behind us. And then that now for from now on, we can resume in person screening as well. But for people, for all kinds of reasons, we cannot come in person. We thought of them and they can stay at home with their best PJs and then just watch the films. They can dim the light, you know, and then just uh, pretend you're in the movie theater. It's no problem. Um, they can buy an online pass for that. And you mentioned that the passes are, are available for sale. Uh, it's coming up February 24th to 28th. All access pass, uh, $59. It says all access. Is it all access? What What do you get for the, the $59? Oh, you get access to all the films that are online. Um, right. Most of the films are online because we had limited uh, possibilities to screen films in person. Actually, yeah. the online component uh, allow us to screen even more films because there's, there's so much time um in person where you can screen films so we can enhance the offer like you, you know to 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 give even more online so that's the blessing and 59 dollars for 70 films i mean it's less than a dollar a film i mean <laughs> this is a unique exchange chains for um Haligonian and everybody else in nova scotia to really um dive into these films not just people in nova scotia because people from all over canada can have access as well you know to dive into these films and then get uplifted get educated get inspired inspired um by gr those great stories and, and entertain because that's that's remember sheldon it's not just like oh my god it's serious film to think and to think no it's also film to just entertain yourself you know to, to have a good time and then to enjoy cinema in a whole new way your enthusiasm is infectious. I want to just close by asking your thoughts on this uh, opportunity, this change in perhaps uh, you know, over time, how this has grown, as you point out, starting in Montreal and now here in Halifax, other cities across this country, how this feels for you to be, well, someone who was recognized as one of the fabulous 40 under 40 and how we have been able to, to watch this all grow together and become this, this huge event. Wow, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm really grateful to uh, people in Halifax, Dartmouth and the Prestons, North Preston especially, um, and everywhere else, you know, people now since the pandemic, people online, you know, um, from all over the place, they are the one making this festival so successful. They are the one making this festival so important um, because they participate, they support, they buy tickets, they buy passes. I mean, people don't now buy tickets only for themselves. They buy tickets for their loved ones. You know, they help promote, they support, they share on social media. And then thank you, thank you to everybody. Because each time you put a dollar to this festival in a ticket, you support an artist, you support a film. That's important. Whether it's a, it's a local artist or somebody else from elsewhere, it's important. Because all local artists do get to be supported in other places as well. So it's important to continue to give back. Um, I'm grateful. That's that's the only word that comes to me. It's really thank you and I'm grateful. And please continue to come out in great numbers and to share this because it's your festival after all. Um, and uh, yeah, I couldn't have dreamed that because you never know each city is different 
and Halifax has proven that, hey, Halifax has the Halifax Black Film Festival. And also people participating, um, the artists participating at the Halifax Black Film Festival, they get to be eligible to submit their films later on to the Canadian Screen Awards. For example, they get to get access to some special funding that require you to have participated in some festivals. So um, this is really a, a useful and necessary festival right here in, in Halifax and uh, in Nova Scotia. We'll invite people to go to halifaxblackfilm.com. That's where you can find out more, see the program, uh, buy your tickets. And Fabian Colas, it's so wonderful to see you again. And I wish you nothing but continued success. It's always so lovely to catch up with you. Thank you. I cannot wait to see everybody in person, Sheldon, from the 24th until the the, the, the 28th. 28th, we will be online as well for longer. So please check it out. And and, uh, let's enjoy films again the way they were supposed to be or online.